I'm Roger Chen. I'm a professor at the University of California, San Diego. Uh, my academic appointments are both in the Department of Pharmacology and in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. And I'm also an uh, investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, which actually pays my salary. Uh, and it is the largest biomedical research in, um, program in the United States, um, and it is a private foundation. So uh, uh, the uh, work we do is uh, primarily about uh, engineering molecules to look inside cells and to understand how different components of cells talk to each other. And the analogy is that a cell is actually like a little society with lots of players, sort of like people in a, in a small city, and we make means by which uh, biologists can follow what these individual players are doing. We can spy on them. Uh, occasionally, for experimental purposes, we want to be able to interfere with them in a controlled manner to see how the rest of the society, or in this case, the, really the cell, will respond. Well, already, aside from the considerable use in basic research of these technologies, they've been quite widely adopted in the pharmaceutical industry because the pharmaceutical industry is trying to find chemicals or dr potential drugs that will affect cells in desired directions and our tools enable people to see at a very more precise level than previously possible what cells are doing in a given desired direction. In our attempt to see how cells work, it would be very useful to have cells themselves generate a molecule that we could see as and report on cellular events. And that eventually proved possible with the use of something called the green fluorescent protein that was originally discovered in jellyfish uh, by a man called Osamu Shimamura and first cloned by Douglas Prasher and uh, first expressed by Marty Chalfie uh, in, in other organisms. And then we took uh, some role in making that protein better and giving it different colors and providing a great increase in the spectrum of possible types of biochemistry it could read out. A man who I greatly admire in American history, Thomas Edison, invented movie cameras. Uh, and the process of making movies, but he was in no way the best movie director. He's not Steven Spielberg or whoever else you think, or Akira Kurosawa or whatever, uh, but he invented the technology and then other people took it over and um, you know, made the artistic, the truly artistic, or in our case, the scientific conclusions mostly come from other people, but we had a major role in some of the early technologies. And we continue to work on more such technologies. It's a type of career that has um, many joys and also many, many tribulations and frustrations on the way. I guess uh, a piece of advice that may be a little self-indulgent, but when I was uh, a young faculty member trying to decide what areas of research to stress, my department chairman gave me the wise advice to do what I really wanted to do in my own gut and that would make the best research that would probably be best for my career and I should not think too much of what other people, I, I shouldn't try to guess what other people would think was most interesting uh, and uh, try to and do self-sacrifice because in that case you often wind up self-sacrificing and not actually being successful so he said you might as well do something you enjoy. Mm -hmm.